guys welcome back to my channel it's ash babes aka namago magic here and if you haven't yet please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and do the things that need to be done right here on this channel now with that being said today we're gonna do a very interesting and very exciting um review on this channel i've never done a review i always do reactions or whatever but this is one review you know that i had to do that i have to do you know for my people and um the review of bahu um rosa damaranama quick um film on on netflix and yeah as namibians we are all proud that you know we got a film on netflix because this is the first namibian film even even if it has to do with rhinos and saving rhinos so yeah so basically Bahu is a nickname Bahu is her real name which is she is from the earth from the soil you know so they just you know shortened her name to Bahu so that's her name and she's a nine-year-old little girl and she lives in the Gunene region I just don't know the town um but it said N U P. I'm trying to figure out what what town is U P but whatever. If y'all know just comment down below what town that is. And she lives with her brother, her older brother and and her, her and her grandma. And her grandma has 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 she is an alcoholic or she has she can't control her liquor. Point blank period. And um her brother has to work in order to you know sustain their you know so that they can eat survive and you know sustain their lifestyle or their life or yeah basically that's the older brother that's what he does um so the older brother is i don't know maybe he's like a little helper boy so he goes to work every morning um they're suffering you know they're eating scrubs grandma is drinking grandma is not really taking care of them. grandma is not the responsible adult in the situation the brother is grandma is drinking grandmother is uh, living her best life if that's what you call living your best life and uh the brother has to technically fend for the family and but religiously even though they're poor they always eat dinner at the table which is very rare because i've never seen this this is uh people that uh, as as somebody who didn't grow up privileged i we never sat around the table and ate, ate maybe christmas or, or special holidays like easter if we did have a dinner table not everybody has that but for Bahu and her grandma and her brother they used to eat they they eat at the table which is very impressive to say the least um and um so basically you know that's the life the brother is technically feeding the grandma money so that she can go and drink and you know be an alcoholic and i am confused by why the brother is doing this i mean i do not care grandma i love you and all this but i ain't gonna give my grandma or whoever my family member whoever that has an alcohol you know problem money just for them to go drink no but i mean i guess this so the brother they at dinner eating and all this and uh he gives her ten dollars ten million dollars and grandma is complaining grandma is like they agreed somebody. It's that all. Daily. I've got it. I don't even remember the brother's name. What was the brother's name? Akhalib. Akhadidib. Whatever his name is. His, I don't know his name. So, grandma is complaining about the $10. But for, for what I think she's drinking. She's probably drinking Dombo or, or Curry or, you know, local brewed beer. So, wh how much you need? Grandma, how much you need to drink that? But anyway, so she, she, he gives her ten dollars. Grandma is uh, wouldn't she doesn't want to hear it. She does not want ten dollars. But anyway, she just abruptly stands stands up from the dinner table and leaves because you know she has to go get her her toilet on. So and uh, the brother is like, I mean that's all I got. So whatever, grandma. So grandma goes. Grandma goes and drinks. First of all, when the uh, when the film started, uh, uh, you know, Bahu and her brother had to go get her at the bar or at uh, you know the local local drinking area because she was knocked out. She was t 
chief say she she was unconscious she was she was out so they had to go get her and um thank goodness it's a small small town so um yeah they go and get her and um the brother eventually starts working so Bahu like there's always this shady business going on next door then by the neighbors you know and Bahu's like no see Bahu's like what is happening what is the why is this random black cars coming with the, the guys with the black suits you know what 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 so all of a sudden uh, Bahu's uh, brother starts working for this uh, rhino this guy said like poach rhinos and uh you know and, and uh, she, he's like yeah I'm tired of it actually his brother's like I'm tired of this suffering we need to eat good food and we need a working stove since when was a stove an issue if you don't get out there and make a fire and and, and, and cook they're tight but anyway besides the point so the brother is fed up he needs all that so he starts working for these people to you know poach rhinos and uh the next day you know they're eating good you know they are they are you know macaroni you can see pasta bolana you can see hey tamati sauce you know all those hey so of course it is so that's what happened Bahu's is suspicious now like what's happening where is he getting all this money but who's asking him all, all these questions where are you getting this money where you how you bought all this nice food and this and that and but the brother said ah, Bahu, you're asking too many questions just sit down and eat your food and she's nine year old you know how nine year olds are they always ask questions but whatever brother says that Bahu's suspicious now Bahu's like brother's work hours have changed he used to go morning hours now he's going at night to 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 obviously hunt um and yeah Bahu decides one night she's gonna go in the buggy in the buggy to follow the guys brother goes in the buggy Bahu goes in the buggy she you know covers herself brother is and uh, brother apparently doesn't see her you know in the buggy they get to to the to the area where they you know have to poach or kill the rhinos and uh brother gets off brother's like oh i'm just gonna watch from afar because i guess he was the one you know he was the watchman to see what's going on or who's coming you know stuff like that or you know like checking f f where the rhinos are and where they're coming from or whatever and he, the brother is like he got there they got there he's thinking that's what he's gonna do the guy say no 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 today you is gonna hunt today you're gonna kill a rhino today you are poaching hey the brother gets off and as the brother them you know uh, are on the way to you know you know approaching the rhino basically Bahu jumps out the buggy no don't kill it no 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 this is our rhinos yeah, da, da, yeah da, da. the guys are like why is she here da, da, da. you know scolding the brother and the brother is like Bahu Bahu hey he for Shange. and they anyway they still uh shoot the rhino uh bahu so traumatized bahu just runs away bahu gets a car uh hitchhikes hike over car over baki and 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 then bahu goes home to 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 her respectful home grandma was worried sick when bahu was ba grandma was where was you bahu i can't live without you my bahu 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 but i'm glad that we are back together you are here safe and sound in this and that and then the brother i guess come back um they made food the brother is giving her as a token of of when she came back from all that drama Bahu goes to the police station tries to she, she's standing in front of the police station staring at the police station i guess she wanted to go you know report but she i guess didn't i thought she did because by the time um she came back or whatever you know the grandma is from school the grandma is shouting yeah what did you do what did you do what did you? because the police are there you know you know getting the brother yes the grandma is doing a lot and um bahu's like confused so bahu thought bahu's so con you know worried for her brother she goes to the police station and she's like i didn't tell them i swear i didn't tell them and then he's like no you didn't um uh, i did he snitched on himself he went there i just hope that people have this type of energy this rapist this murderers these people can y'all go in you know don't you have conscience
Go report yourself like Bahu's brother. We would save a lot of lives and a lot of crime would be prevented if everybody had that. But anyway. So yeah, that's what happens. He gets released, I guess. And, uh, you know, he starts working for, for... Oh, basically the guys get busted. So he snitched on the guys. And when the guys came for the annual, you know, come to get the rhino... Um, I almost said the nose. You know, the rhino... Uh, let me google that what do they call that oh the rhino horns oh my goodness it's so embarrassing the rhino horns um the police bust you know they got busted and they got arrested and i guess bahu's brother got you know you know he he was released because he snitched on the main culprits because they are the actual ones that make the the money they just use this little you know suffering boys in this boys in small towns to do their dirty work and they just get and get rich so anyway so and then bahu's brother uh basically starts working for 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 you know the rhino save the rhinos you know organization non-profit whatever it's called the organization and yeah that's basically it's not really a lot going on maybe i just dragged it out so it can be longer but the storyline was to save rhinos um and uh, that's it. This is the first Namibian film that's on Netflix. There's no Namibian film on Netflix, even though it has to do with the rhinos. I mean, I hope that this opens doors from, you know, real films with real storylines, interesting storylines. And, uh, you know, everybody that was involved in this project, the quality was great. It was very, it was a proud moment for all Namibians, I would assume. And uh, basically, for me personally, it is very, 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 I'm very, very proud. I would be equally proud um, if it was any other Namibian, you know, doing it. But because it's my clansman, it's my language, I'm even extra proud. And um, it's it's amazing. Everybody always talks mess about how Nama and Damara people are. Oh, they drunk us. Oh, they like drama, this, this and that. And they, like, all the bad stereotypes that you guys like to pinpoint on us but who is first on netflix us namadamara people we are on netflix and i said it yes google this i mean screenshot this send it on whatsapp i said it we are first on this will just we are first on netflix and i am proud and i shall say it we made it a win for all of us as namibians but i am just extra proud so with that being said guys um don't forget to watch Bahu and I'm sorry that I maybe spoiled it for some people that didn't watch it but don't forget to watch Bahu and the Giants on Netflix. If you do have an account or you're stealing somebody's account or you're using somebody's account, your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend, uh, your mama, your brother, whoever, your side guy, whoever's profile you're using, just make sure you watch Bahu and the Giants and yeah, and get your life. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.